Alright, so guys, I was tripping. You know, that was my bad. The color is gonna be green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, oh, my bad. Green, pink, yellow, red. There we go. There we go, chat. What we like to see. What about that? Are we on your tape? Let's watch this training. Grab pack. Tie in the straps. Both cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip. I'm gonna fire it at a co worker. to grab pack. Um, I swear sometimes it just feels like I should know what's going on. And I just don't. I'm just gonna start paying attention a little bit more. Oh. Oh, hello. High five! It's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. 
Okay, don't want that. That does not kindle joy. Guys, and then they test me right now, though. Tape there. Get back up there. That's my only issue. to another video today we're in the poppy playtime um we're here in chapter one as an ex-employee of playtime company we finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared i haven't played this game um you are about to see the most incredible doll it just got ever. released her name so. is poppy and she is the On first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. Oh. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. That's hard to believe. Just watch. I don't know if I want to watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. And she talks like one, too. Hi! My name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a Poppy flower. Oh. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a Hopefully real not. girl. Oh. 
just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Scary. Never think the fact disappeared ten years ago. We'll still here. Find the flower. Well. Welcome. Yay. I'm so excited. Do I turn this on? My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little oh. tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also <laughs> pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly mm -hmm. contact the authorities. I feel like this game. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. Uh -huh. No spoilers. No so, spoilers. you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. Oh, okay. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Circle. What's in here? Boogie bot. I don't know. Red. Let's do red, yellow, blue. Oh, 
are you supposed to know what the um are you supposed to know what the order is? I don't want to talk about it. Oh no, never mind. I thought I knew. Actually, man, I probably can do that, huh? So you just never do that at all is what I'm guessing. See if I'm right. <laughs> Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Mm -hmm. Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being what? able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, it's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's Why? weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older. Okay. And then you die. What? Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. 
I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Um... That's interesting, man. That sound. What's going in there? Going in the red, dude. open the door. Find three more. Oh, there's one. Okay, so I got two. There's three. 
this open. Hey. Rick, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in oh. this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. Happy about it when manufacturing on our necks about it because we can't find no. stupid hockey boxes. Rich, Jesus, oh, you're right. You're right. You it's stressed out, man. It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. <laughs> Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? A bit of what? I'll be honest, I don't know. All right. That should get us our second arm. What do we do after that? Oh, we go in there, obviously. Does it bring it to me? Okay. Yay! And yeah, we got a trophy. Yes, job.
No, it didn't work. Is there another circuit? Because this one says zero, right? No, that one says one. to complete the circuit. What am I supposed to be grabbing? Because I'm grabbing it. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Come on. There we go. I just said there's supposed to be There we go. It just wasn't letting me do it for some weird reason. How do you catch me? No. <sighs> no. Fuck, how do you catch me, bro? Don't let me run.
Nope. Not even close to terrifying was that. That does not look like a place I want to be. Oof. I only died once. Final log. Hey, that's the final log. One zero zero six. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Those still Jesus, missing, man. these events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Oh. Well, I guess we gotta go ahead and get in there now. I do not like this. Mm, you can see the door right there. That. You opened my case. You're dead. Okay, and that's that's episode one. I mean, bro, for someone who literally never played this game before, I, like I've never seen anything about this game. I haven't watched anything. Actually, I think I watched Except Kyle a long time ago, but I didn't even really watch the video. Like, I just saw that he posted this game, but now that I'm playing it, bro, like, that's just scary. I don't know how people feel about it, but for five dollars, man, I paid five, seriously, I paid five dollars for this. For five dollars, that was a great experience. Like, I don't know what, what more you could ask for for five dollars than for that right there. Like, I'm sure that, because I know that the first episode right here was a huge hit. So I'm sure, I know that there are two more episodes out. I'm sure that those are a lot longer. Because I'm sure this was like a, just a little one to see if it would get people interested. But since it does have people, I, I feel like this game blew up, obviously, right? I mean, it made it to PlayStation as an indie game. So since it did blow up, I feel like they probably invested a lot more money. Because like the mechanics and all that is fine. Um, it's not bad or anything, but it's just like interesting. Thank you for playing. No problem. Take my five dollars. It was a great experience. And that's it. You know, like I said, for for five dollars, I mean, look, there's like literally nothing you can really do here. Um, adjust the brightness of the name. It's weird. This, is that a G or a nine? I think it's a G, but it looks like a nine. For five dollars, this is a ten out of ten. If I pay twenty dollars for this, it's a zero out of ten, right? It's all about the price of the game. But for five dollars, this is a ten out of ten. I highly recommend it. If you guys haven't played this game, or if you, even if you have, and you're like me, you didn't have a PC or anything like that when it came out, and you didn't want to watch anything until it eventually came out on PlayStation, and it finally came out on PlayStation, 
go ahead, go into the PlayStation Store and buy this for five dollars. You'll have fun. And I mean, you can keep replaying it. It's just the the chasing is a lot of fun. So low key, you could just keep replaying the, the, the chasing. That's how that's how fun it was. Like I was stressed, bro. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Comment down if you guys want me to buy part two or not. I don't even know uh, when part two is going to be out on PlayStation. I don't think it's out right now. So comment down if I should play it when it comes out. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.